hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will add the magazine system and the reloading system in our game into this rifle let me get back to the normal mode let's open up the rifle script and after this rifle things let's just create a header and inside this header we will name this as rifle ammunition and shooting and here we will create a private integer by the name of maximum ammunition and the maximum ammo will be 32 in one magazine one magazine will contain 32 ammos okay after that we will create a public integer by the name of mag and the number of mags that the, pre uh, that the rifle will have is 10 and after that we will create another integer by the name of present ammunition then we will create a float by the name of reloading time this will be equals to 1.3f and after that we will create a private bool and let's name this as set reloading let's equal this to false by default okay now right here let's create a awake function and when the player has the rifle or you can say when the game start we will set the present ammunition to the maximum ammunition so when the game start the present ammunition as you can see it is empty so when the game start the present ammunition will be set to 32 okay after that in the update we will say that if we are reloading okay so if the set reloading is true then we want to simply just reload the weapon and do nothing else and after this right here in the shoot function at the top before shooting we will first check for a magazine that if we have more than one magazine so we will check if the mag is equals to zero actually so if we don't have any magazines then right here we will show the ammo out text okay and then we will simply return after that when we are firing then we will decrease the present ammunition by one so we will say present ammunition minus minus and then we will check if the present ammunition is equals to zero okay if we have completely fired our one magazine then we will also decrease the number of magazines as well and right here we will be updating the clear ui but that is for the future okay so now we have all of the if conditions and after all of that we are firing okay now let's create the reload function and basically the reload function will be a enumerator so we will say enumerator reload and let me tell you something about the enumerator is that it allows the program to yield yield things like wait for seconds function okay it works as the wait for seconds which tells the script to wait without hoping the cpu so when we iterate through a collection or access a large file waiting for the whole action would stop all others then enumerator allowed to stop the process at a specific moment and return that part of object and get back to the point wherever we need that function okay so for example we need this function when we are only reloading when the ammunition 
if present ammunition becomes equal to zero then we want then we will be calling this reload and then when we call this reload so it will stop all the other things it will first complete the reload function and then it will move on so it will basically stop the iteration of the program now right here what we want to do when we are reloading when we are reloading we want the player to stop at one point and there the player will reload so what we can do right here is to first of all get a reference to the player script because in order to stop the player we need to make the player speed zero and the player sprint zero as well so at the top in the rifle things right here we will say public player script let's name this as player so now we have a reference to the player let's scroll down right here when we are loading we will set the player dot player speed to 0f and also player dot player sprint to 0f as well we will set the reloading to true and for testing purposes let's just debug a message in the console that reloading so that we know that yes the player is reloading after that right here we will play the animation and play the reload sound but that is for the future and after that we will wait till the reload is complete so we will say yield return new wait for seconds and we will wait for the reloading time after that when the reload is completed we will play animation then when we reload then the present ammunition will be again equals to the maximum ammunition which is 32 and after that we will set the player speed back to normal so we will say player speed sorry first of all player then player speed and it will be equals to 1.9f and then player dot player sprint will be equals to 3 after this we will set the reloading to false so now we need to call this uh, reload function when the ammo becomes 0 so right here uh, in the update function we will check if the present ammunition is less than or equals to 0 then we want to call the reload function so we will say start for routine in here we will pass the reload function and then we will say return and guys make sure that you type this as well because you can't call a enumerator function without this start quarantine okay then just simply save this and right here we need to now provide the player script so we can actually drag and drop this player in here and it will automatically select the player script okay as you can see and let me change this to debug mode so that we see the next time to shoot maximum ammunition present ammunition and set loading okay now if we play the game now you will notice that when we fire as you can see the present ammunition is decreasing right here as you can see now it is 28 let's fire all of the ammo as you can see we are fine now this set to loading is set to true you saw that okay and right here the magazines becomes equals to now 9 okay now let's shoot the other magazine as well as you can notice this becomes set to true and the number of magazines is now Eight. now let's shoot again set to loading is set to true the number of magazines 8 now let's shoot again now the number of magazines is 6 okay 
so it means that our reloading system is now working with this done see you guys in the next video